A very good morning to you and welcome back. Well, it's time for youth and politics. And this morning we'll be looking at matters related to Kibra mini poll that is scheduled for 7th of November. Well, let's get to look at some of the things that have been happening. Well, after the demise of um, the Kibra legislator, that is the late Ken Okoth, the residents are now preparing for the mini poll that is scheduled for 7th of November, which is exactly 23 days from today. And campaigns for the same have been really intensifying in the area and gathering quite a big momentum. There have been divided opinions from the political divide, primarily right after the handshake. Well, what's really happening? We'll be looking at that later on. The seat has attracted 24 candidates as per it is right now and has seen a campaign team pitch camp in the constituency carrying out door-to-door -door campaigns. Well, two among them join us this morning, alongside a political analyst who will be coming in in just a few. He's a bit late, but he'll be joining us in just a few. But I want to introduce my guests who are already here on set. Right next to me is none other than Felix Anditi. Thank you. Karibu sana. Asante. We'll be talking to you later. Next to him is Shadrach Omondi, who is an independent candidate and also the independent collusion chair. Thank you very much for inviting me All right. this morning. Yes. Pleasure. All right, it's nice to have you, both of you. Kevin, uh, Kevin Oswago, will be, who is a political analyst, will be joining us in but just a few. L l let me begin by asking this. I don't know, but let me begin from you, Shadrach. Yes. Why vie for the seat? Is it for the interest of the Kibra residents or it's for personal gain? Uh, it is interest for the people of Kibra. And uh, according to my manifesto, my first manifesto uh, is to fight for the rights of people of Kibra and to protect them with their properties. Uh, what I'm trying to say is I want to bring change, change through the health awareness, then through education, environment, and give people of Kibra what belongs to them. All right, we'll be talking deeply about your manifesto, and of course for you is also Shadrach, or rather Felix. Uh, Felix, w why vie for the seat? Is it for the personal gain, interest, or rather for the Kibra residents? <laughs> Thank you, my brother Alex. Uh, I think first I want to congratulate Kenya for this week has been a week for Kenya. Yes. We have really made milestones from the Ineos, Kipchoge has made us proud, and the incident in Mombasa, their recovery. So Kenya is a, is a nation that is great, and a nation that is great with great people. And I believe uh, as, as youth, we are to take this greatness to another level. So my name is Felix Anditi Awar, an independent candidate in the by-elections of Kibra. I'm vying for this seat because I want to see development. My agenda is simple, Auma, Amani, Umoja, Maendeleo. Kenya has come from, from far, and we thank God from where we have come from. And uh, where we have reached, it is God, because we have peace. At least people are united, and uh, our focus ought to be development. We should be now making steps in the line of development. Yes. So I'm um, mm -hmm. uh, vying for that seat, because I believe it is high time to bring people together and let us focus on how we can bring development to the common one inch there. Wale what we to Kibra, how they can get water, how they can get education, even mm -hmm. tertiary, how they can get security, and how we can also partake this national kick because it's not reaching to the people down there. All right, uh, I want to come back to you, Shadrach. You have mentioned about your manifesto, yes. which you say is include fighting for the rights of Kibra residents. Number two, free education and health care. And number three, Wamama Kwanza Fund. And number four, youths for free jobs. Number one, manifesto for the rights of Kibra residents. What rights are these? What have they been deprived of? Uh, you know, right, uh, I'm fighting for freedom of living. Okay. Uh, are they by any chance being deprived of it? Sorry? Uh, are they being deprived of their rights to, to live there? Yes, uh, because uh, the reason why I'm saying this, uh, Kibra first, it is the second largest slum in Africa, Africa. and the uh, international community, NGOs, World Bank, they have been funding a lot to the works of, to the people of Kibra, so that uh, they should have an affordable life 
they should access the affordable life for each and all of them, by the way. But uh, you find that uh, that money does not reach down there. It is hanging somewhere in the cloud. So I want to show them and to tell them the direction where, how they can access uh, whatever it belongs to them. Right. You find right now uh, many uh, people in Kibra, they are living in poverty, of which Soweto now it is ingrained, different now with Kibra. And uh, you see World Bank, uh, uh, since 2014, they have been focusing for these two uh, biggest slum in Africa. One is Soweto in South Africa, so then the second is in Nairobi, which is Kibra, where now I'm vying as a member of parliament. So in that case, uh, I want them to realize their potential, to realize who they are, and that's why I'm there vying for them, y yes, fighting uh, for them. Yes, Shadrach, there's something that you mentioned about their rights. But my question is, you, you're talking about even the affordable housing, which the government, it's a government project. How exactly do you, ex or do you, are you rather planning to change things in terms of their rights of living, in terms of their health, in terms of what? Yeah, it is not me changing the life of my people, but it is me with them when we share uh, the, the, the same feeling together. Uh, you know, uh, if I'm in the, in, uh, if I'm, if I will be in the office, I will be partnering with the uh, government towards to help my people. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let me come to you. We'll be coming back to you in a few. Let me come to you, Felix. You have talked about Auma and it's about Amani Umoja and Mandela, and, and it's quite a broad thing. Uh, peace mm. and a development. Yes. The government has come out clear. Even Ruto, uh, the deputy president the other day, spoke about it. We'll mm -hmm. be playing the clip in just a few. Yes. Spoke about it and say that development can be accredited to the Jubilee government. How then are you, are you how different will you do things? Mm. Thank you, thank you. Actually, development cannot come unless the people are one. And that's why we, we, we see Kenya's development agenda that is in Vision 2030 came in when the, uh, the nation was united. That is the, 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 the Honorable Mwai Kibaki and, and Raila when he was the Prime Minister. They gave us the vision 2030. Mm -hmm. And we have seen from the handshake, there's a lot of things that has been moving on. So development cannot be accredited to Jubilee Party alone. Development is accredited to the leadership of the moment. And that one we have all the MPs, all the CAs, the President and everybody working to ensure that the common Mwanaichi there has felt a piece of the cake. So uh, I'm saying that to say that uh, in this season that we have before 2022, mm -hmm. it is very important that we continue working together, uh, the county governments, national government, mm -hmm. in synchrony to ensure that some of these projects that we have at the constituency level and even ward levels have been met. We cannot have development that is divisive that these people will bring development and all that. So when I'm talking about Auma, Amani Umoja Maindeleo, I'm simply saying that I want to, to partner with the county government and the national government, everybody, different parties, different uh, wherever, wherever they come from, even development partners, to ensure that there in Kibra, we take care of the sewer lines, to ensure that there in Kibra, we are able to put a tertiary college, a community college for our youths who are there. Mm -hmm. Because most of the times education, we focus on the primary and the secondary mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, we, we empower our business women, the small traders that are there in Kibra, to ensure that roads are put there. Uh, Felix, yes. are you not borrowing from the government's project about the tertiary institutions that the government is bringing up? Not really, I'm not borrowing from that because you, 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 you see uh, government has got its own projects. Mm -hmm. But you see, Nakama Sisi Watu Wakibra Pale, Tunajua Nidia Watu, 
come at this community college of course it is like a polytechnic mm -hmm. but then we want to have a 24 not a 24 a college whereby at a youth work kutoka ku hustle wanaweza enda class june na weekends unaona wale wanataka certificate wale wanataka kuendelea na diploma na wale performance yao ni exceptional mm -hmm. can even go further and get scholarships mm -hmm. so and uh, so that one mm -hmm. because we also have floodlights mm -hmm. which are not working mm -hmm. and some of these things when we partner with the county government we are able to affect them mm -hmm. we also have our development partners who are there Right. And when we partner with them we can see where the need is mm -hmm. where we can help so mm -hmm. that they are also effective effective mm -hmm. in what they are doing right. we also have the urban roads mm -hmm. we have the county government and the national government the mm -hmm. roads in kibra there mm -hmm. when we partner mm -hmm. we are able to make sure that our roads there are fine and also the welfare of the people there some of these projects when they come in there uh, the, the people sometimes maybe they're not even compensated all right they are not even there. there's a lot of things there mm -hmm. so when i'm talking about that i'm not borrowing from the national government right. but i'm also saying that because mm -hmm. kibra many things start from mm -hmm. kibra when we put peace there mm -hmm. peace and unity when we purpose like now we know even in these elections in this politics there's a lot of div divisions that are coming in all right F felix will be coming back to you in just a few but there's a clip Asante. i want us to watch about ruto ruto who was in kibra the other day he spoke about the jubilee really being impactful uh, over what has been happening and he says everything can be a credit to the jubilee government let's have a look Hiyo kibra kumekuwa na viongozi wengi. Lakini mimi nataka muulize. Barabara ya Lami leo ambayo iko kibra mahali ilikuwa vumbi na matope. Si mimi na serikali ya Jubilee? Yeah. Si tumejenga na watu wenyewe? Yeah. Ile ile mataa ambayo sasa mlikamuizi na hiyo mataa yote imewekwa hapo. Si imewekwa na NYS kupitia serikali ya Jubilee? Yeah. Kweli basi kweli. Macho ambayo imejengwa Kibra. Si ni NYS ilijenga kupitia serikali ya Jubilee? Yes. Ni kweli basi kweli. Kweli. Ile clinics ambayo imesemekana kule Kibra. Si imejengwa na serikali ya Jubilee? Wacha tutabakiwa kusoma vizuri tunataka tuingize kwa polytechnics. Waende kusomea mambo ya mason, waende carpentry na vitu vingine mengi. Tunataka vijana wetu waimarishwe wa wakuwe busy sana. Upande wa sports, tuweke upande wa sports, wacheze mpira. Tunataka maviwanja zijengwe. Ndio tutoe hapo next Mariga. This is just what uh, the deputy president has to speak about, accrediting everything to the Jubilee government. Well, both Jubilee takes credit as they say and both Raila Odinga still says the same but before you even take your reaction of course our guest has just come in Kevin Oswago or oh, Oswago yes karibu sana it's great to have you we'll be coming to you in just a few i want to take your reaction Shadrach and ask ourselves both uh, the former premier was for 20 good years member of parliament of Kibra what did he manage to do or rather what did he manage to do that needs to be done right now uh According to me, uh, I'm seeing nothing. They have done nothing. And that's why we children of Kibra, we stood by this time and said, we have to stand firm and fight for what belongs to our people. What they really do is just doing business with our people and also saying uh, false promises. They talk things which is not valid. They come What are these things that are not that are not valid? Yeah. You see like now uh Mheshimiwa Ruto uh is saying that everything is being implemented in Kibra. It is by Jubilee. I said it is not by Jubilee. Everything which has been implemented in Kibra is being done with people of Kibra. Okoth was a son of Kibra. You understand? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, even my brother Felix here can 
can be my witness. Mm -hmm. Any project which is undertaken in Kibra through the environment, uh, now we have a uh, Savcon. Savcon is uh, the, the owner or the founder of Savcon uh, is a son of Kibra. Now, what are these people are doing in Kibra? They are saying that they have been doing this, that, this, and that. Oh. Yet, even right now, we are, as we talk, yeah? Now, you know, this is a season, a season of rain. Mm -hmm. We are really getting a big challenge in Kibra. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes water comes and flow and people get disaster in it. You understand? And even minus even the houses. You understand? So I have not seen any change uh, from the prime minister and uh, so-called the jubilee right, right now. All right. But they are, they, are, they are there for, 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 for their own interest. And that's why themselves, right as we talk, mm -hmm. they are fighting themselves, jubilee and ODM, day and night in Kibra. But we as independents, we said enough is enough and we are the sons of kibra and right. will soon farm with our people that's why i tell you that my manifesto is to fight for the right of kibra we need change for the development we need change for freedom we need change for environment we need change for education we need change for health care, you understand? Let me, let me, let's, let's ask each other, but let me first of all take Kevin's reaction towards these. Well, Kevin, you probably can just hand over the mic. Kevin, are the citizens of Kibra, I understand that you're also a resident of Kibra. Yes. Are the citizens of Kibra ready to adapt a paradigm shift or we want to keep the old and usual narrative? Well, actually, Kibra is uh, now leading to what is called a revolution. Mm -hmm. it's, it's now leading to what is called a revolution. N new tasks are coming up, the likes of my friend and ET and uh, the other friend, which is good. It's really encouraging. It shows that Kibra has uh, born and inbred uh, leaders uh, that are able to work, actually, to their people, to the people of Kibra. Besides um, uh, discrediting uh, Raila Amolo Dinga in his, uh, in his uh, uh, role in Kibra as a member of parliament, uh, Raila has done a lot. We cannot uh, uh, discredit him, or he is a factor that we cannot wish away with, actually. He has done a lot in Kibra. It's that. What are the things that he has done? Uh, okay, trying to analyze things that he has done, uh, there are so plenty because, uh, in terms of schools and development, he has actually contributed in one way or the other because we have to consider uh, the history by going backward actually because remember cdf was uh, it is it is a project that recently was introduced during his time uh, even though they had so much power but uh, the likes of cdf and um, they were not actually uh, as uh, given priority mm -hmm. as per now so uh, he has contributed both directly and indirectly in Kibra. It is that some of these factors cannot be seen because he had uh, people who are around him who are who, whose job were to implement these duties and ended up sometimes failing him. But Raila has contributed a lot because even democracy in itself, uh, not only in Kibra but nationally, these right. young men are now vying because of, Kib because of Raila's democracy, what he has fought for. All right, with, with that, let me for. ask you, Kevin. It, are the polls, the mini polls that we expect on November 7th, is it about who knows who or it's about the power of the manifesto that you have and the projected performance? Thank you for the question. That's a nice question. Manifesto, when you, when you look at uh, Kenyan politics, it has been uh, uh, very much uh, uh, in line with who knows who. That's a factor that we cannot do away with because we've seen most of these MPs mm -hmm. vying. They are in one way related or knows the other person in power. Remember we have a, a big wigs who pull the blocks, the, the, the gods, uh, political gods who pull the block, who, who define factors of, 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 of the day. Mm -hmm. You cannot, uh, equally you cannot uh, uh, underestimate, uh, you cannot uh, say this without considering the fact that Uhuru Kenyatta even in his block, he pulls the string. William Ruto in his block, he puts the string. Equally as Baba, he puts the string. And at the end of the day, he will have, um, he will have a say. Mm -hmm. Or he'll, he'll, he will, his, his presence is a force to reckon with. He, 
he has that influence, and this will actually affect even our young, uh, the young leaders who are Of buying. which now I want now, to take when you consider manifesto, mm -hmm. Manifesto, yes, manifesto, having manifesto is one of the best things. But we realize that the ma this manifesto, after one has been given the opportunity, he does not live to his manifesto. These are just Thank you. written documents yes. that are copy-pasted mm -hmm. in order to appeal to mm -hmm. the voters. All right, are you copy-pasting anything? No. And that's why I decided to be independent. Not that I've been in the party, as right. he said that manifestos i agreed with him that most of politicians of whom you are part of a, the politicians i'm the part of the politician uh -huh. but i'm not in the party mm -hmm. i'm independent right and that means to me a lot to my people because i have no boundary of implementing my manifestos i can do it anytime i want without any supervision without any boundary so I am promising... Of which you are reporting to a particular committee yes. as an MP. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry? You are still reporting to a particular committee, so you are, of course, under someone's authority. But not that much to be into the party, because right. party somehow mm -hmm. strict. You uh, stick to your ideologically, you understand? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I'd like to ask, but we'll be looking at the, the merger, but let me ask Felix, where exactly... Are we failing in terms of implementation? Because we have talked about it. We are just copy pasting, uh, of which I had asked, even asked you before. Is it a matter of, you know, we get something <coughs> from the top and then we paste it to the lower grounds? Mm. What difference do you want to give to the Kibo residents? Thank you. Allow me to start with commenting on, on, on the video you, mm -hmm. you played. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I think what, what the Honorable Deputy President is saying that every project is accredited to Jubilee government is not in order because uh, every Kenyan citizen has got a right to taste development and there are arms in development there are arms and why yes those are arms of the government institutions of the government and all these other sectors mm -hmm. so the developments in Kenya are not credited to Jubilee but are credited to Kenyans have got a right for it and uh, the, those sometimes are divisive politics because now some uh, some parts feel maybe they're superior than the others. They've done so much. Then on what you said about Raila being there for a long time, uh, I, I think uh, Mze has has done has done enough. Very nice the way our brother has said. And uh, like I said, Kenya we have come a long way. We have come a long way, and I love this forum because we are youths and politics. And what will help us if we focus on the next, when Kenya will be 100 years, mm -hmm. how are we going to take Kenya in the next steps? Are we just going to fall in the system of divisive politics and bad politics? Are we coming with change? And that's why I strongly say that the history we have had, we thank God where we are. Now moving forward, um, Auma, Amani, Umoja, Maendeleo. Mm -hmm. We see how we can unite the country and in peace focus on the development agenda. Oh, oh, so right, on, on what you have said about uh, pasting manifesto, mm -hmm. it's all about pasting manifesto because uh, uh, some of us leaders, emerging leaders, not only in Kibra, even in Kenya, mm -hmm. they have a clean desire to make sure they serve the people, their mm -hmm. people. But, but it's it say that uh, no matter what you try, he put it clearly, yes. that you usually come up with these big manifestos, huge manifestos, by the end of the day, you don't live to your promises. Thank you. Uh, you, you, you kindly do not confuse. You know, some of us, we're emerging leaders. Mm -hmm. Are you getting that? Mm -hmm. Because we are coming out, out of the genuine concern. Right. These are our people. Whatever affects them affects right. us. All right. Are you getting that? When it is good with the people, it is good with us. Of which every politician says. But don't say every politician, because mm -hmm. we have politicians mm -hmm. and we have leaders All also. Right. So mm -hmm. being politics is just a way of getting there. Uh -huh. But when you're there, are you a leader? Are right. you able to serve your people? Right. So we are not copy-pasting, but we have genuine concern mm -hmm. and genuine desire. Right. That's why we're able to stand strong mm -hmm. and to solve some of those things. Like uh, we have What, what are those group. things you want to solve? The, we have youth groups there. Mm -hmm. we, the, our youths are very, are, are very down. 
They are not empowered. We want to give them even car wash machines. We have, like in Makina, we, the, the youth group there with a the place. They need a greenhouse. Their youth group there in, uh, in Laini Saba, they said, wow, wakieza pata ata loan ya matatu, wata kama ni second hand. And some of these we can even, uh, a part of CDF, tuneza wasimamia. When they pay the loan, they take again like that, like that. Right. So it's, it is an initiative mm -hmm. of the leader himself, the member of parliament. Ya watu wake, kuwakikisha watu wake, wako sawa. So you, may, you, kindly you don't confuse us with the people that of the day who are in the system of retrogressive politics going there seems, nowhere. There seems to be a gap between the old generation of leaders and the new generation of leaders. Yes. But that's not the question of the day. I'd like to come to you, Shadrach. The, the, there's, the, there's this issue of like who knows who, of which we see there's so much of support that comes from the people so-called who knows who. Is it, is this by election by any chance about who knows who, it's about the manifesto that you have? Uh, uh, it's not who knows who, but uh, it is who, who knows the problem of the people of Kibra by biologically and uh, what i can assure you that uh, our people of kibra they are very smart they know if you lie and they know if you 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 real so who knows who is only people of kibra will tell on seventh next month all right yeah all right i, I see you wanted to comment on something yeah, I just wanted to comment on uh, 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 Ruto's uh, take on development. Um, as uh, stipulated in the Constitution, everyone has a right uh, uh, for economic empowerment and uh, um, development because we pay tax. You can't go to Kibra and tell them that it's NYS. At the end of the day, yes, every development will be attributed to government because it has that right, the mandate to, 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 to see that people get the life that actually enjoy the life and, and um, government benefits. Uh, because this, remember, uh, gov government is all about social contract with the people. It's mm -hmm. a social contract that in return, the people sign it in return that they put the government in place, then after that the government compensates by providing the necessities that they need uh, to help them live their daily lives. All right. Uh, I want us to talk briefly about the merger. And of course, I don't know whether the clip is still ready. There's so much that uh, you, Felix, and Shadrach, and alongside other team that you're trying to come up with. And I'd like us to play a clip that you, ha you are talking about the merger. I don't know whether the clip is ready. I don't know whether the clip is still ready for the merger that you are still mentioning about, b before we even play the clip, you're talking about the merger of four people, Felix and Sam and two other guys. Yeah. What is it all about? Uh, you know, <coughs> as a children of Kibra, we realize that, uh, okay. mm -hmm. uh, we, realize that uh, we have something in common. And uh, as our brother said, mm -hmm. Uh, Kibra, if you can see the face of Kibra now, mm -hmm. it's a revelation face. So uh, we decided to come together as a coalition, mm -hmm. but uh, we are not. Uh, we are still uh, building mm -hmm. our coalition to be formed strong, uh, underground first, mm -hmm. then uh, later. Uh, we will say, okay, now this is where we are. The reason why we... You, you are the chairman of the independent yeah, coalition. Yeah. Uh, apparently, I'm the chairman. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we say that, uh, we, the reason why we come up together is to show our people that we are not a politician, mm -hmm. but we are leaders, mm -hmm. very young leaders, whom had interest with their people, our mothers, our children, our brothers and sisters, and we want to protect our land. We don't want people from outsiders. They come and steal mm -hmm. and destroy mm -hmm. and make things which is not uh, interest of our people. So I believe this coalition, it will work. So the clip, the clip talks about the merger and the collision merger and all that stuff. We have seen even parties merging 
Even today, we even have you know the Jubilee Party, which has much several parties. But my question is, in terms of performance, how will you perform? And yet, you for if by chance you get to choose one of you as a flag bearer? Yeah, our our objective is to stop all these crook who want to uh, who want to grab our land, and uh, we choose only one person who is going to the parliament to fight for our people's rights. And that means that it will be a historic, a political historically, that four brothers, independents, they are the one who are leading their people independently, all right? And it has never been happened in Kenya, especially in Kibra where we are, because in decades, most of the leaders mm -hmm. have been nominated there uh, with the parties. All right, let me let me come to you, Felix, and uh, I'd like to I'd like to ask you, what is this merger all about? If it's not about you know working for the people, mm -hmm. why, why do you want just to merge? Because independent candidates, it's it has never been hard of you merging. Why now? <laughs> I want to I want to say thank you. Times are changing, like I told you, Amani Umoja Maendeleo. No one can work in 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 sol in solution, in in solitary in solitude. So, like our brother said, who's our interim chairman of the coalition, that uh, we we came together as the children of Kebra, and we knew that when we come together, mm -hmm. number one, we can do campaigns in peace. Number two, we can support one another. Number three when we come together, because that is the unity we needed, and that's the unity that Handshake brought. Unfortunately, it's like it's being broken again. So we are not only, not only uniting for, for, for the elections, mm -hmm. but we want to see how we can unite the whole country also, even as the young leaders and the rest. So we are, we are looking into if, if it is possible to maybe have, a, have, have, have to support one person, and, and I pray that uh, my brothers will consider me so it is the unity for the people mm -hmm. of Kibra. Mm -hmm. Yes, not only for us, because we are stronger together. Mm -hmm. you know, not only it, it is starting with us, because you see, you talked, about, you talked about, is it about who is who or about the manifesto? You know, Kibra does not want leaders brought. Some of these people bringing leaders, these leaders, after they are elected, they will serve the interest of the bringers. But right. Kibra wants one of their own, uh -huh. and that is what we are trying. We, are, we want to solve. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, Shadrach. Le let me ask this: What is the criteria that you are going to use in selection of the flag bearer? Uh, not yet at the moment, and uh, what we are. Uh, so you have not yet set a particular criteria on how to select a flag bearer. Yes. And it's twenty-three days to the election. Uh, after two weeks before the the election will come out after two weeks in two weeks time now all right we'll come out to the uh, media mm -hmm. press conference and then we'll let them the one that god has chosen not and that is why i'm asking yeah. what criteria will you use to select the person uh i see this is not yet laid down mm -hmm. yeah Okay. All right. We will be coming and discuss that in details because it's quite a point of interest because we'd like it to be made clear. What exactly are some of the things that we'll be looking at, at the country that will be, you know, yeah. taking the flag and, you know, wa working with you guys. But uh, Kevin, do you think by any chance the merger will work? It's actually, it's to me, it's actually, uh, the chance is 50-50. All right. D because uh, weighing, weighing uh, actually by the look of things, the fact of uh, merging mm -hmm. means you are ceding your authority now, remember. We no longer now have an independent, but we have some independent parties coming together to form in mm -hmm. a new, uh, to come in with a new party or a new bloc. Independent uh, body. Yes, yes, an independent body now. So it's no longer now an independent thing, but a collective now responsibility. Now, of which they are accountable to yes, each other. Of which they are accountable to each other. Mm -hmm. And remember, in politics, um, uh, it's, it's, it's quite not easy, remember, because uh, trust is one of the most important things. And when trust is not uh, uh, existing in politics, then uh, the, 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 the likelihood of merging and coming up with one, 
one uh, independent candidate as their their flag bearer. yes flag bearer mm -hmm. is uh, really null and void it's very slim mm -hmm. actually uh, because at the end of the day one will have to be accountable to the other and uh, this will affect the independence of the other person actually it's, it's the three who will have to be accountable to the one who will be elected. yes who will be elected mm -hmm. we've seen uh, the mergers and and following the history even the kibaki and railers uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, Yes, and uh, um, Kalonzo Musioka and Raila, some of them coming out to claim that they have been betrayed. And so these factors will not agar well, especially with the young coming um, uh, tax like we, who, who actually, I'm, 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 I'm certain sure that, who have no financial muscle. Mm -hmm. Because financial muscle it was one factor to consider in politics. And that's something I'd like us to talk about, the financial muscle. How, how, how able are you? Because I realize that you've been doing something called dot to door. How have you managed to hit all these? And how will you hit the campaigns that have been happening all over, the big and huge campaign trails? Mm. Uh, I want to say thank you. Uh, actually, we, we, we trust, you know, this merger did not come because of the elections of November. This was, at, like you're saying, considering this nation, when we come together. So it is just a beginning mm -hmm. and does not mean we are coming together even to support one, that is just that is an AOB to support one candidate, but it's we want to see AOB, how to unite the country. Yes, it's okay uniting the country. Yes, of which it's an area MP. Yes, you but see, uniting the country. How 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 uh, true is that? I, I'm I'm saying this. Eh? Mm -hmm. Starting with Kibera, you know, mm -hmm. if one is elected or not, mm -hmm. the others are already leaders that we can work with. Right. To ensure that our people are united and also uniting the other people outside there. So it is something we want to see copied in the whole nation. All right, uh, fairly. Not just for self interest, for mm -hmm. personal interest. So the merger, it's not really the main agenda. Putting that aside, uh, you've asked about, about, about the finances. Uh, we have, we, like I'm doing door to door, I meet groups, and uh, we, we, we may not have the strength of, of doing big rallies. But you see, not every p f somebody from Kibera go to those big rallies. And not everyone in Kibera even watch TV, by the way. The, and Kibera, it is not a very big, large land area. And you see, that piece is also helping. The people want to identify with you themselves. So the resources that you need even to run in Kibera is not as much as it may look. Actually, to be a leader, we saw the example of our brother, the one from Meru. The people actually saw he when what was shakula wa meshiba sasa on ulizana to peleke nani. Are you getting that? Because even them they know it is uh, it is just among them the mutu ambaye neza was idea. Uh, so so any leader coming up mm -hmm. who is thinking that financial muscles mm -hmm. is needed for you to be a leader, that is a very wrong perception. That's a very wrong uh, perception. Let me let me quote let me quote yes. the words of uh, Musale Mudavadi yes. who says this that Politicians are being taken as hoteli. Yes. Okay, talking mm -hmm. about hoteli. That's what he says. Actually, we have the clip. I don't know where it's re it can play right now. Yes. He says that politicians are being taken as hoteli. Mm. Yeah, very true. Wh wh why? Uh, uh, you know, mm -hmm. under Bibele in Let's first of all, let's first of all listen into this. Uh, when, when the ordinary voter in Kibera says, "Who is hoteli?" Who is hoteli? Uh, you know who it is. I don't even have to go too far in saying you're in a hotel. But uh, l l let's face it. Is there anybody who is pouring money more than the Jubilee Party in uh, Kibera? All that we are appealing for is a free and credible process, devoid of extraneous issues like money changing hands. And we have signed, as candidates, we have signed a code of but conduct. That is what, that is what <laughs> Musele Modavadi is saying about, you know, who you in hotel. Let me respond. Please go ahead. Let me respond. Uh, something Modavadi has also said there, at he is asking, is there anybody pouring money more than the Jubilee? Mm -hmm. But you see Kibra Pale, they are in need. Mm -hmm. People are in need. Ukweli yetu kienda do to do. Unapata watu umelala nja. Are you getting that? Mm -hmm. So if what you're bringing, we, what you're coming with, is money, watapokea. Mm -hmm. Ata kanisa ukienda na pesa, watapokea. Awajui hii pesa imetoka kwa malaya, hii pesa imetoka kwa mwizi, hii pesa imetoka kwa ambasada, mm -hmm. itapokelewa. Mm -hmm. Waombe, alafu waitumie. Mm -hmm. Unaona? Mm -hmm. Sasa kibere ukienda na milioni, watachukua. 
ukienda na shilingi watachukua uh, right. but at the end of the day mm -hmm. wanataka kiongozi ndio maana wanasema hizi ni hoteli mm -hmm. meaning tuchukue pesa kwa sababu pesa ndio wamekuja naye <laughs> lakini wanataka wachague chague yule kiongozi mm -hmm. ambao wanaamini ya kwamba huyo atatupeleka na si yule ambao umeletwa na hao watu mabwenyenye they want to select from them right. their, Felix, their Felix, own. for the interest of time, yes. I'd like us to do the parting shot. I'd like to begin with you, Shadrach. Yes. I want you to tell the people, uh, the eight residents of Kibra, your parting shot as we wind up this thing. Uh, what, all I wanted to say to the people of Kibra... You can just look at this camera. All I wanted to say to the people of Kibra that uh, we are strong and kicking. And uh, as my brother said here, Honorable Felix, Ukiwaona wamekuja na pesa, wewe chukweni hizo pesa. But the real sense, munajua kwamba, we are the one. Uh, another thing which I want to tell my people of Kibra, that uh, let's do our campaigns in peacefully manner. Because uh, we are the, the, the children of Kibra. And we are here as the candidates presenting you people there. So don't fight for them. Leave them for us to fight for them. That's why we are here. Thank you. Siku ya stare saba ikifika, please. Thank you, Shadrach. Tukumbuke pia sisi. Thank you very much. Yeah. Kindly, let's do this, Felix, briefly because of time. Yes. Felix, part and short. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. We focus so much on Kibra, mm -hmm. but the mandate of the member of parliament is not only for the constituency. Mm -hmm. I would want to go to parliament and to ask the government to set aside some money to compensate the but victims. Your mandate is for the victims, area residents of the constituency. Yes, victims of post-election violence. Mm -hmm. Because some of them are disabled, some of them died, and we have not compensated them. And I would want to take to parliament a bill so that we do not import the things we can produce, be they maize and sugar and all that. So uh, I want to appeal to what we to Kibra. Mimi na waomba ya kwamba mnichague ni wakilishe tuhakikisha kwamba maendeleo ambayo yule ndugu yetu alikuwa ameanza right. tumeenda nayo mm -hmm. hadi mbele right. asanteni sana Mungu abariki All right let's have you can give us your parting shot briefly because of time uh, now to, to look at the, the way politics is running in Kenya politics has been commercialized and we cannot uh, under play that but my real appeal to the people is that uh, especially the youths in Kibra they should actually focus on a, a, a legitimate real leader a real leader not those who will come um, uh, to give them false promises or pouring money uh, like my brothers um, have said and so we should focus in a, a real leader but what I would really like them to deter from is party politics since my own view, party politics has destroyed the country and it is continuing to destroy right. the country because it's because of party politics that there are no development. Mm -hmm. If you look at um, all these governors, mm -hmm. they, are, they, have been, they are under some people's authority right. in that right. party protects them mm -hmm. in case they've, they're, they're, they've been almost all. Mm -hmm. In case they are, uh, they've, they've missed the money, <laughs> they're under authority of us. We may not be able to finish so thank this, you. but <laughs> we'll come some other time probably to continue thank the topic. Unfortunately, we are already out of time. We'll get probably some other time to come and talk more about this. Well, many thanks for keeping it Y254. My name is Karanjo Alex and Val is coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Many thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks you very much for joining